Welcome to the machine learning at home. Today I will speak about one useful thing. So this is frequently required when you work with tables which contain multiple variables, very typical way to work in machine learning field. So let us look on the same iris data. Variable species contains multiple species names. So like many of them, actually 150 species names. Imagine that we have a simple task in mind. We want to replace the scientific names of species into the common names of species. So for example, Iris Setosa called in America Beachhead Iris, or Iris Versicolor is a blue flag. So I want to replace these names to the common names. Let us do first of all this common names variable. I will call it new. That variable will contain three new names. So first of all I make quotes and then I put comma space between quotes. And then I type within quotes these three names. For Setosa, which is it is a beach at iris for where the color is a blue flag and for virginica is a southern blue flag okay and what are our initial names They're very easy to obtain from this levels command levels iris pieces will give us three initial names. So now we have one-to-one -one relationships. Beachhead Iris to Setosa and so on. But how to replace? That may be done. Well, there are many ways to do it. But most of ways are kind of complicated. So I made a very easy command, which is including in my package. So let us start it. Library Again, if you don't have this installed, go and install the Shipunov package in a normal way. And then you have all these commands available for you. So I would like to recode old scientific species name into new common names. So that might be done with the command record with uppercase letter. So it has three arguments. Initial variable, which we want to record, it will be iris species. Then we need to understand from what we need to record. So we'll use this levels of iris species. And now we need something to record. So to is our new variable. And now we run it and it will be done from, not from, of course. Now we run it and it will be done. Okay, done. So we have now each scientific name replaced with common name. So this is very easy if you have command record in place. That was kind of artificial example, maybe useful still. Let us go to some more complicated example. I have in my package embedded data set about horse tails. So this data set is split in two parts. First part called EQ underscore L. So I will use str command for safety because data might be very big. This is not so big, by the way, it's only 56 observations and only three variables. So first variable in this AQ underscore L is a number of population. Second is a region and third is a species. So species has eight levels, which means there are eight species. Now, how data is looking? So we can just run command head. So very easy. Number of population is the first column and then 
where n species. The second table is bigger. So str eq underscore s. It has 794 observations, almost 800 observations and 9 variables. So common with our previous data set aq underscore l is the first variable n pop number of population but all other variables are morphometric measurements of some parts of plants so i my task is to replace number of population into species names because i want to establish multi-species machine learning model I cannot do it with populations because one species may be in different populations. So I will need to replace this into species names and only then I go with our typical machine learning way. For example, we'll split data set in training and testing parts. So how to replace numbers into names of species? Again, with the command record. Let us do it. We'll do it immediately with new variables so aq dollar sign aq underscore dollar uh, underscore s dollar sign and then new variable name i will call it species so this variable is not yet exist so we will create it and by our rules it will be added as the last column of the aq underscore s data set. And then how we create it? From the record function, what we will record? We will record number of population from this big data set, so aq s and pop. s dollar sign n p o p o p. So we'll record this variable. What is our recording rule? So we will record based on how number of population correspond with species in the other small table. So we'll use npop as a key which connect this big table with a small table. So let us do it. Q underscore L dollar sign N pop and now we need to specify to what we record it, of course to species so because this table contains number of population and species name q underscore l dollar sign species so this is our rule so again we will take the long variable of 800 almost observations and then for the rule of recording use a smaller table of 56 i believe it was yes 56 observations then will convert numbers of populations into names of species okay everything is quiet looks like no mistakes was present so let us check it for example we run head command but i like to see more so I will like to see, for example, 100 entries. So AQ S species. So this variable now exists. And I want to see 100 of them. Yes, so we now have species names which are placed into places where numbers of populations were present. So each different number of population was replaced with the name of species, actually with the species repeated. So in a data set, aq underscore s now looks slightly differently because it have one more variable. So yes, it has now variable species, which is the last variable in this data set. So this is how we typically do recording. So if you want, you can record anything into anything. And what I like in this function is a simplicity and flexibility. So both things allow the work with record in many different occasions. 
This is it for today. Thank you.